So Noah, I need to apologise to you. Because you broke the promise last I, time. I broke a promise with you twice. But you said I could buy whatever I want because you didn't come last time. And the other, you didn't come last week and last last week. Oh my god, I hate this song. Why, this I really hate this song. Why? <laughs> Brings back memories. Why? What? Long story. Hey guys, welcome to tonight's video. I'm on my way to pick up Noah because he has threatened to tear up my store if I don't do a YouTube video with him tonight. And if there was an award for world's best uncle, I think I'd be the last to win it because for the last few weeks, I have stood him up. Last week, I promised him I would take him out on Sunday night. When are we going to do a YouTube video? Okay, we'll go on Sunday, okay? Tomorrow? Tomorrow, which is tomorrow. Okay, okay. Bye, bye. bye. But I ended up being too tired. But I still had energy to go out with someone else later that night. So I promised him two weekends in a row. And I've left him hanging, which is really, really bad and during the week he made me pinky swear that I'd take him out this Sunday and dead or alive I'm here hello hello how are you why do you have toothpaste in the car so I just went shopping why do you have so much cat food because it's for my cats I know I pinky swore with you that we'd go out on Sunday night and you lied. <laughs> but I'm going to make it up to you because we're going to go to Kmart. Can we go to Walmart? Can we go to America and go to Walmart? I'll take you to America one day. To America. Donald Trump, the Prime Minister. President. All right, now since uh, you're hanging out with Uncle, it is my job to teach you a bit of Vietnamese. I think this channel, we're going to have to start teaching a bit of Vietnamese because this guy is horrible. I could use this as a blackboard. What am I going to teach you today? Okay, we're going to teach you one word. Oh, that's horrible. You read Nong. that? Ngon. Ngon. Ngon means tasty mm -hmm. no 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 say no 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 so no you take the whole and to show you how to be a man. So I'm gonna teach you a very important lesson today, okay? Yeah. You listening? Yeah. Okay, in future, if you go out with any girl and she cancels on you, like uncle canceled on you, you cannot go to a house and threaten to tear up her yard. Open your door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We don't, we don't do that in this family, okay? okay. In Vietnamese, they say, Chúng tôi không làm chuyện đó. Alright, promise me? Yep. Okay. Let's go. Can I do your phone and play battle cards? Yes, you can. Noah, uh, last week when I ditched you, mm -hmm. did you know later that night I went out with someone else for dinner? Who? A girl. Who? Which girl? Who? Your favourite country, Noah? Is Australia. Favourite state of Australia is... 
Are you right? Yeah. Um, uh, and, um, what have they been teaching you in school? Nothing. Vietnam's a country. No. It's not a state in Australia. No. Are you talking about Inala? What's Inala? <laughs> What's Inala? Inala is where all the Vietnamese people live in Brisbane. All right, guys, since we're in Sunnybank, what we might do, we're going to head over to the next suburb in Ran Corn and go to a Vietnamese restaurant there. There's two over there, there's Vietnamese hut and rice paper. We'll just see whoever's open. So in Runcorn, there's two sides. There's Runcorn Plaza on the right and Warrigal Square on the left. So on the left here is rice paper. It's actually one of my favorite. It's a very, very small place. It looks like it is completely full. So we've got two choices. We're going to stand there and wait, or we're going to go across the road to Runcorn Plaza to the other place. But I don't think the other place is nice as this one. So what do you want to do? I don't want to wait. You don't want to wait. You're going to be patient, Noah. Hey, they've got, an, they got a, a balloon that says eight. That must be their eighth birthday. Wow, has this been here that long? Actually, I was, I was here the other day delivering. And we're here at Rokun for Ling's farewell. Look how noisy it is. It's all the birds. Alright, let's go. That's so noisy. Come on. You wake up, you hear this. Look how many people. There's one table in there. But this is that bad. <laughs> let's have a look at the menu first. Is it that bad there's only one table? Food mustn't be good. Alright, let's have a look at this first. <laughs> We're here for the bar. I'm gonna have a special, 1690. See what kind of footage we can get. Alright guys, for tonight's review, I'm going to change it up a little bit. I think I've been doing it way too complicated up until this episode. But I just want to simplify things. And I'm only going to score the broth, the noodle and the meat. And I think I'm going to score the whole thing out of five from now on. With the broth being out of three. Our food's arrived. And look, we get a short rib. I haven't seen that before. All right, we're switching back to video. It's okay. barely concentrate on this review. Sorry guys. I'm not focused on the job right now. But what happened? What, what are these memories? <laughs> Bad memories. Um, tell me. Tell me. <sighs> it's about a girl. Huh? It's about a girl. Tell me. Tell me I'm cool. I don't know how fresh this is. Just open this lid and it's all this gas has come out. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not touching that. I think this voice seems off. It's a bit bubbly. And when I opened it, it's disgusting. And I think they've watered it down too. No, I'm not telling you. Uncle, tell me. 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 Tell me.
Tell me. Tell me, Uncle. Tell me. Tell me. I was listening to this song during a breakup. That's why I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> Oh my god guys, it is, it's only 7pm and they've already got the mop out with the bleach. And I've spoken about this on a previous episode and I absolutely hate that. And lucky we're about to finish our meal because the smell of bleach and <laughs> is a very nasty combo. So I'm done, we're going to head next door and grab a bubble tea and then I'm going to score this. Oh sorry, no way no I'm going to score. No, there's a really nice one next door. Okay. Mochi is tea. better than Bushy you, you be the judge. You like this one? Yeah. Oh, uh, out of five. Yeah. the camera. Three. Four. Three. Out of five. Yeah. That's funny because I was thinking the exact same thing. So tonight the format is the broth is out of three, the noodles is one, and the meat is one. <laughs> and I scored it a three as well. How did you read my mind? Thank you. Yeah. Alright, so the broth out of three, I only gave it a one. It was very, very average. There wasn't anything special about it. It was quite sweet, but it was just hollow. There was absolutely no depth to it. I think the fact that the restaurant was completely empty, that kind of reflects the food here and I don't want to get too opinionated I just want to focus only on the pho that usually when you have a pho at a restaurant that kind of gives you an idea of what everything else is going to be like and I've heard this store has changed owners it used to be quite busy until I think it changed hands I'm not too sure when but it, it just doesn't seem as busy as a crossroad at uh, Warrigal Sweat Rice Paper. Over there, they were completely packed out and we just took our wait. And as soon as we rocked up here, it was a, almost a tale of two cities. And this one was completely empty, except one table. And yeah, it, I, I don't think we'll be back, unfortunately. And I'm trying not to be too biased because I've had a couple of people say to me, uh, you do photo reviews, but you've also got a restaurant, which means there's like a conflict of interest but I don't think that's the case because you guys are on this panel to get my professional opinion and in my opinion look it's okay it's not not that bad but at 16.90 it is on the high side and there's a lot of meat but the ribs in the the fight up bit which is something I haven't seen in uh, any other store except mine that was really yay or so chewy we could not eat it. Yes. It's beef ribs. Oh god. That is chewy. This beef ribs has not been cooked. Huh? Hasn't been cooked long enough. It's gracious. Haven't cooked it. You haven't cooked it long enough. Mm. Normally I cook my beef ribs for three hours. Three. This tastes like they've only cooked it for an hour and a half. Or it's just really old. Like an old cow. <laughs> Do you want to say hi to anyone? Say hi to grandma, mum. Yeah, so yeah, that wraps up tonight's video. A very, very quick one. I don't want to drag it on too long because it just means more editing for me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, a like, and make sure to subscribe. See you guys in the next one. See you guys next Sunday, right, Noah? Are we going next Sunday? Pinky swear? <laughs> if, you, if you don't do it, you have to buy me something expensive. As my punishment, I have to buy this, which is $79.99. Hang on, is this in US dollars? Oh my god, I can't afford that. There you go, sir. Yep, thanks.